वेलकम डियर स्टूडेंट्स टू दिस सेशन डियर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस फ्रॉम क्लास नाइन मैथमेटिक्स बुक चैप्टर एट क्वालेट्रल्स पार्ट फोर डियर स्टूडेंट्स प्रीवियसली वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ पैरलोग्राम सो व्हाट प्रॉपर्टीज वी हैव डिस्कस लेट्स सी ए डायगोनल ऑफ ए पैरलोग्राम divides it into two congruent triangles and another property is in a parallelogram opposite sides are equal and converse of this says that if each pair of opposite sides of a quadrilateral is equal then it is a parallelogram and another property says in a parallelogram opposite angles are equal and its converse says that if in a quadrilateral each pair of opposite angle is equal then it is a parallelogram today we are going to discuss some more properties about parallelogram what are they the statement is like this the diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other to prove this let's have a figure this is figure of a parallelogram abcd is a parallelogram ac and bd are the diagonals intersect each other at o now what to prove here we have to prove that the uh, diagonals of the parallelogram bisect each other that means ao is equal to co and bo is equal to do then how to prove this in this figure ab and cd are parallel as this is a parallelogram opposite sides are parallel and ac is a transversal if we consider these three sets of lines then we have these angles that is angle bac and angle acd to be alternate interior angles and you know in parallel lines what is the relationship between the alternate interior angles so we can write that angle bac is equal to angle acd and we can also consider another set of lines like ab is parallel to dc and bd is the transversal if bd is the transversal then what are the alternate interior angles abd and bdc are the alternate interior angles so we can write angle abd is equal to angle bdc now in triangle abo and cdo we have these two triangles to be compared for congruency so in these two triangles what are equal angle bao is equal to angle dco because these two are alternate interior angles and angle abo is equal to angle cdo these two are also alternate interior angles and we have another condition that ab is equal to cd as they are the opposite sides of a parallelogram now by angle side angle property these two triangles are congruent so we can write triangle abo is congruent to triangle cdo we can have uh, the corresponding parts of these two congruent triangles these are ao is equal to co from aob ao and its corresponding side of cdo is oc so ao equal to oc similarly if we take bo then its corresponding side in dco is od so bo equal to do so we proved this these are the corresponding parts of congruent triangles now we proved that in a quadrilateral if it is a parallelogram then its diagonals bisect each other now what is the converse of this theorem 
the converse of this theorem says that if the diagonals of a quadrilateral bisect each other, then what is the type of quadrilateral it is? It says if the diagonals of a quadrilateral bisect each other, then it is a parallelogram. Now, to prove this, I have figure here ABCD is a quadrilateral, and in this quadrilateral, we have given that AC is a diagonal and BD is another diagonal and these two diagonals intersect bisect each other at O. Bisect each other means AO is equal to CO and BO is equal to DO. Then what to prove? We have to prove that ABCD is a parallelogram. So, how to prove this? To prove this, let us see in triangle ABO and triangle CDO, we have these two triangles for comparison. In these two triangles, we have AO is equal to CO and BO is equal to DO. Also, we have angle AOB is equal to angle COD. Why these two angles are equal? Because they are vertically opposite angles. So, we have side angle side. So, ABO triangle and CDO triangle are congruent by side angle side congruency or SS congruency. Now, as these two are congruent, so we have some corresponding parts to be equal. So, in this case, we have AB is equal to CD. Again, if we take these two triangles, triangle ADO and a triangle BCO, then what are equal? We have AO equal to CO and BO is equal to DO. And also, AD and BC are equal as the opposite sides of a parallelogram. Now, you see, as triangle AOB and COD are congruent, we can say that AB is equal to CD as the corresponding part of the congruent triangles. Now, we consider triangle AOD and triangle BOC. You see, in this case, as given AO is equal to CO and DO is equal to BO. Also, we have angle AOD is equal to angle BOC as they are vertically opposite angles. So, we have triangle ADO and triangle BCO to be congruent. So, we can write triangle ADO is congruent to triangle CBO by side angle side congruency or SIS congruency. As these are congruent, so we can say that side AD is equal to side BC. Why? Because these two are corresponding part of the congruent triangles. Here we have ABCD is a quadrilateral and its opposite sides are equal. AB is equal to CD and AD is equal to BC. And we know that in a quadrilateral, if in a quadrilateral the opposite sides are equal, then it is a parallelogram. From this, we can conclude that ABCD is a parallelogram. Dear students, today we discussed about the diagonal property of the parallelograms. Let us have some questions, some more properties of some special parallelograms. Have a look. If the diagonals of a parallelogram are equal, then show that it is a rectangle. So, how to do this? This is a parallelogram ABCD. So, given ABCD is a
parallelogram and AC BD are diagonals such that AC is equal to BD. Then what to show? We have to prove that ABCD is a rectangle. Then what is the condition for a parallelogram to be rectangle? If one angle of a parallelogram is 90 degree, then that will be a rectangle. So let us see if we compare two triangles here that is in triangle ADC and triangle BDC. ADC and BDC what are equal? You see AD is equal to BC. Why? Opposite sides of a parallelogram. Now, it is given AC and BD are equal. AC and BD are equal. It is given. And DC is equal to CD is common side. this DC or CD is common side. So, we can say triangle ADC is congruent to triangle BCD by side 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 congruency. Okay? Now, if this are congruent, then we can have equal parts like as we need angle ADC is equal to angle BCD by let me write in short that is corresponding parts of congruent triangles. Now, in, we know that that AD parallel to BC as ABCD is a parallelogram and CD is transversal so angle ADC plus angle BCD is equal to 180 degree as they are co-interior angles. Sum of the co-interior angles is 180 degree. So, angle ADC plus angle BCD is equal to 180 degree. And we know ADC and BCD are equal. So, this shows that each angle is 90 degree. That is angle ADC is equal to angle BCD is equal to 90 degree. As both are equal and their sum is 180 degree, so each is half of it. So, ADC is equal to BCD is equal to 90 degree. As one of the angle is 90 degree of a parallelogram, then it is a rectangle. So, we can write as ABCD is a parallelogram and one of its angle is right angle then
ABCD is a rectangle. This is all we have to prove. So, we proved from this properties of parallelogram that if the diagonals of a parallelogram are equal, then it is a rectangle. Now, let us have a look at another property. This says, let us show that if the diagonals of a quadrilateral bisect each other at right angles, then it is a rhombus. Here, given that a quadrilateral is there and the diagonals bisect each other perpendicularly. So, name the quadrilateral ABCD and the diagonals bisect each other perpendicularly at O. So, given in quadrilateral in quadrilateral a b c d diagonals a c and b d bisect each other at O and SC is perpendicular to BD. We have to prove that ABCD is a rhombus. Okay. In this case, you see how to prove it is given that the diagonals bisect each other. So, as A C and B D diagonals of quadrilateral bisect each other. This implies A, B, C, D is a parallelogram. A, B, C, D is a parallelogram. This means A, B is equal to C, D and A, D is equal to B, C. Now, let us take two adjacent uh, triangles as formed by the diagonals. So, let us take in triangle AOB and triangle BOC. What are equal? As it is bisected, AC is bisected at O. So, AO is equal to OC and OB is the OB is equal to OB is common side. What is more? And it is given that AC is perpendicular to BD. That means the angle B O A is equal to angle B O C is equal to 90 degree. So, from this we can say that triangle A O B is congruent to triangle C O B and by side angle side congruency. This implies by taking the 
corresponding parts of congruent triangles are equal, we can say that AB is equal to BC. Now, we had AB equal to CD, AD equal to BC, now AB equal to BC. Now, from these three, we conclude that AB is equal to BC and BC equal to AD and AB is again AB is equal to CD. So, as all the four sides of a quadrilateral are equal, so ABCD is a rhombus. So, thus by applying the properties of parallelogram, we can prove that if the diagonals of a quadrilateral bisect each other at right angles, then it is a rhombus. Let us have another question. The question is like this, show that the diagonals of a square are equal and bisect each other at right angles. In this question, a square is given. So, let us draw a square. A, B, C, D is a square. What to prove? We have to prove that the diagonals are equal and bisect each other at right angles. So, to prove AC and BD diagonals, AC and BD diagonals are equal. That means, we can write simply AC is equal to BD and also the second part says that AC and BD bisect each other at O and AC is perpendicular to BD. Now, you see as we uh, discussed earlier that a square is both a rectangle and a rhombus. So, it has both the properties of rectangle and rhombus. So, we can use that. ABCD is a square this implies ABCD is a rectangle as we know that every square is a rectangle so we can write ABCD is a rectangle as ABCD is a rectangle we also know that in a rectangle the diagonals are equal. So, the diagonals of the diagonals of ABCD are equal that is AC is equal to BD. What is the second property of square? square is also a rhombus. So, we can write that ABCD is a rhombus. As ABCD is a rhombus and we know the diagonals of a rhombus bisect each other perpendicularly. So, we can simply write that the diagonals of ABCD 
bisect each other perpendicularly. So by using the properties of square that it is both a rectangle and a rhombus by using the properties of rectangle and rhombus we can prove this statement that the diagonals of a square are equal and bisect each other at right angles. Now let us have another question. The question is like this show that if the diagonals of a quadrilateral are equal and bisect each other at right angles, then it is a square. This statement is nothing but the converse of the previous statement. So, let us prove it. In this case, the quadrilateral is given and it is the properties of diagonals are they bisect each other at right angle. So, here it is given in quadrilateral A, B, C, D diagonals A, C is equal to B, D and both the diagonals bisect each other perpendicularly but to prove we have to prove that A, B, C, D is a square. Just as we discussed, the square has both the properties of a rectangle and a rhombus. If we can show that this A, B, C, D is a rectangle and a rhombus, then it is a square. So, from the first condition, let us start. In A, B, C, D quadrilateral, diagonals A, C is equal to B, D and, and we know that the if the diagonals of a quadrilateral are equal, then that is uh, the diagonals of a parallelogram are equal, then it is a uh, rectangle. So, here this is a rectangle. Uh, Let us first prove let us prove that the diagonals of A, B, C, D bisect each other. This implies A, B, C, D is a parallelogram. Now, the diagonals A C is equal to B D. This implies A B C D is a rectangle. Now, the diagonals bisect each other perpendicularly at 
this implies a b c d is a rhombus thus a b c d is a square so thus by using the diagonal properties of rhombus and rectangle we can prove this that if the diagonals of a quadrilateral are equal and bisect each other at right angles then it is a square dear students today we discuss the properties of parallelogram like the diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other and if the uh, the diagonals of a quadrilateral bisect each other then that is a parallelogram we also discussed different properties of square rectangle and rhombus dear students now this is time now to stop hope you have understood it thank you